Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com. As you guys probably know if you're familiar with me, I have pectus excavator, which is where the chest goes in. But there is another form of pectus, and it's called pectus carinatum, where the sternum goes out. Okay, my dad actually has this. All of my videos obviously are mostly targeted towards excavatum because that's what I have. And typically people with excavatum are more self-conscious of their chest and their bodies because it's more abnormal. Uh, most cases of carinatum are relatively mild and not too noticeable. Uh, but still, I get a lot of people reaching out about carinatum, and obviously, you know, it's still an abnormality, a deformity. Um, and so it makes people feel different and it makes people feel self-conscious of their bodies and they want to change it. And so people are reaching out to me like, what about the carinatum? Does, does my training work for carinatum? And the reality is, is yes, the, the, the core premise is the same. You know, my training's not miraculously changing the bone structure of excavatum and it won't do that for carinatum either. The core premise of my training is building muscle in the chest, in the abs, the obliques, in areas around the condition to really essentially disguise and, 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 make, and draw attention away from the deformity and build your confidence in your own body and just make it look less noticeable, primarily just through building an awesome body. Obviously, there's little fine tune, there's fine tuning elements to my program, you know, posture in terms of excavator, making the sunken chest look less noticeable, really targeting the obliques for the rib flare. Um, but the general premise will work really well for carinator. And simply, if you just put on mass, you put on weight, you put on muscle in your chest, you know, you, you become strong and impressive. If you optimize your potential for your body, your carinatum will look hardly noticeable and you should build confidence in your body and it shouldn't be a factor regardless if it's mild or more severe carinatum, okay? Um, think about it. You, if you've got, you know, your sternum protruding here, right? If you build your pecs up more so they protrude more, it's gonna make it look so much better. So definitely my training will still help you. Um, everything I talk about will still help you. So if you are interested and you want to become a client of mine, you've got carinatum, then I've got some spots available for people with pectus carinatum. So the link will be in the description to this page where you, where you can apply and then you can book a call with me so I can meet you, you know, just make sure I can help you personally for what your actual goals are and, you know, your case and your circumstances. And then I can put together a plan for you to make your condition look less noticeable through building muscle, through adding weight. Um, and you know, it works. I'm sure you've seen my client results for everyone with excavatum. And I've actually worked with several, maybe dozens of people with carinatum already. So it definitely does work. And the core premise is the same, guys. So yeah, put on in, putting on that mass will really help you. Obviously, it's not gonna miraculously make your chest flat, just like it doesn't with excavatum, but it will make it look less noticeable. So then you don't have to go down surgical routes or braces and other things. You know, exercises can be really effective, especially when your case of excavatum or carinatum is more mild or moderate. That's it for the video. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. I look forward to meeting you. If you want to apply for coaching, whether you have excavatum or carinatum, either way, you can apply. Um, I'm taking on clients right now, so I've got a few spots available. So link is in the description. Book a call and we can go from there.